Still on COVID-19 in the country, I want to pay some special attention now to Garissa County. Health officials there have decried poor habits amongst residents in seeking health care as being behind a notable spike in COVID-19 infections and deaths. Over the past one month, during which counties around Nairobi had been locked down, Garissa officials say there was notable rise in the number of severe cases, with patients losing lives after late diagnosis and presentation at hospitals. But as Sam Gitoko reports, a lackluster attitude remains visible among residents oblivious of the enemy within. A trip to Garissa County reveals the carefree attitude among residents of Garissa Town, the biggest urban center in the area, where sensitization on COVID-19 would be expected to be highest. According to Ministry of Health statistics, Garissa County ranks 23rd in number of infections across the country. The county has recorded 1,081 positive cases since March last year. Of this, 28 have died, majority of patients making full recovery. According to the latest ministry statistics, only nine people are admitted at Garissa hospitals, one of them in ICU. In the figures reported on Wednesday, 93 tests had been conducted, from which 22 people had tested positive, all of them detected at the Dadaab refugee camp. But challenges in testing and healthcare remain. Garissa officials telling of late detection of the disease made worse during the recent lockdown of five counties around Nairobi. And most of the people are very uh, afraid to come and access to our facilities because they, uh, they, they, they fear that we may quarantine them. In fact, those who came to the facility, they came with their critical ill, very sick, with oxygen, very low oxygen concentrations, which we cannot be able to do anything for them. Garissa County reports an ICU bed capacity of just five, with 50 cylinders of oxygen that require to be refilled often. And as patients keep off from health facilities, it usually gets worse. He starts using concussions, they fail. Then when now he realizes that uh, he has gone weak and his uh, breathing condition has, has gone down or oxygen levels have gone down is when you will find that somebody has been brought to the hospital or, uh, or our call center was called for asking for an ambulance to pick him. Mimi wiki hii nimepoteza jamaa tano. Tunataka watu wajue ugonjwa hiko, wafate amri ya sirikali. And one of the reasons why people are, uh, are dying at home is they don't want to come to the hospital for, 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 for care and therapy. Even though the Ministry of Health reports 28 deaths, Garissa officials say at least 36 have succumbed to the virus with fear it could be higher. We are hearing of our unconfirmed reports that uh, there are people who are infected with COVID-19 and are still in the, uh, they are still at homes. When they are at home, they are, they are risking even their, their people, their families, their children, their elderly. At least 6,000 COVID-19 vaccine doses were deployed to Garissa. According to the Ministry of Health, just over 2,000 residents have received the job. County officials, however, putting the figure even lower at just over 1,000 recipients. Garissa County leads the northeastern region in number of COVID-19 infections, focused now on the residents as the third wave continues to cause havoc across the country. Sam Kitukos, TV.